Hungry Desert Sailor, and I am definitely not in the desert. It's June, and look what I'm wearing. Yeah. Well, I'm on a bike ride. This is such a great way to see Newport, because it's not too, too hilly, and a wonderful way to just get around quickly and quite affordably. So follow me along my little mini bike ride. This is such a nicer bike than mine. I want a new bike for Christmas. So why am I in Newport, Rhode Island in June? Well, because I was helping organize the National Women's Sailing Association's annual Women's Sailing Conference. And it was a big success uh, besides the fact that we actually couldn't go out on the water because, you know, we don't know the level of the skill and the mobility of our participants and we were going to be mainly on J22s. But if you want to see the full story, um, I've posted a video for NWSA on their YouTube channel, so I'll have the link below. And you can also follow them on Facebook as well and on Instagram, National Women's Sailing Association, um, and follow them to know what they're doing and maybe even become a member. Yesterday, a few of us from the conference after our fundraising brunch went to the um, National Sailing Museum here in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, it's also the Hall of Fame and it was amazing. I, I was so impressed with um, the curation and, and how it was set up and it's super interactive. It's so fun. You get these little wristbands, you go around to different stations, you build your boat, you compete against each other in these um, sort of simulations of racing and then there's a whole bunch of history of all the really amazing famous sailors coming out of um, the U.S. mainly because that's what they focus on. So the conference was at Sail Newport and um, that's in the Fort Adams State Park and uh, so I wanted to come and see this fort, this famous fort. So let's check it out. It's raining but it's sunny. Woo! New England. Ocean Drive and the sun has come out. Whew, getting hot. This is Belleville Avenue and Cogs Hill Avenue entrance. What a beautiful protected beach. White sand even. Well, now I see why you can't get a bike through here. So why do people come and do the cliff walk in Newport, Rhode Island? Well, because of the beautiful view of the ocean and an opportunity to get up close with some of the famous mansions, castles almost, built here right on the seaside. This part of the path though, you gotta be careful need to do some bouldering. I think this was the perfect day to come and do this because it's a little overcast. It's not too hot. We're getting some beautiful cloud formations. The sea is calming down a bit. If you're wondering about my shoes, they're Airbirds and uh, they were recommended by Clayton Morris from Redacted and Natalie and Clayton had bought them for Clayton's dad and I just, I had foot surgery back in January and these are feeling really good on my feet. I really love these Airbirds and I'm going to get some more. Well, I think it's time to turn back, but you can just keep going if you don't have a bike to get back to or a plane to catch, which I do. nice to see inside that beautiful mansion. 
most of the houses around this one on Rough Point are privately owned, but this one's been opened as a museum. But because it's a Monday, they needed a day off. Gorgeous. Another one that's only open certain days. I just saw a sign for a trolley. So there's probably a trolley that comes along here. So I'm riding along Bellevue Avenue. Ooh, Marble House might be open. I wonder if they have a bar. It's noon and it's almost beer o'clock. <laughs> I could go for a drink. So Marble House is open. It's 25 bucks to get in. And there's no bar. So I gotta keep going. <laughs> I wanna go see if I can see this from the shoreline because I'm not really spending, I don't know how much, another $25 to go in. And it looks kind of crowded. Well, it looks like I'm out of luck for finding a beer, so it's almost time to head back to the airport. So I'm gonna get this bike back, and the place I'm renting my bike from is at Scooter World, and it's right downtown. And it was reasonable, 10 bucks an hour for a bike and 40 for a scooter, and then they have those cool little um, cars. I hope you had fun on the ride with me, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>